In Isaiah 10, we encounter a powerful account of God's sovereignty and judgment. The chapter primarily focuses on Assyria, a dominant power used by God to execute judgment, but also a nation held accountable for its own arrogance and cruelty. The chapter begins in verse one with a warning or a woe to unjust rulers. It says, what sorrow awaits the unjust judges and those who issue unfair laws? This sets the stage by highlighting God's displeasure with injustice and oppression, a theme consistent throughout the scriptures. Then in verse five, the focus shifts to Assyria, described as the rod of God's anger. It says, Assyria, the rod of my anger, in their hands, my fury is a club. Here, Assyria is portrayed not as a conquering empire, but as an instrument in the hands of God used to discipline his people. However, Assyria's actions are not condoned. Their own pride and ambition are called into account. The heart of this chapter lies in the, the tension between Assyria's role as an instrument of God's judgment and its own faults. It says in verse 13, but the king of Assyria says, by my own power have I done this, and by my wisdom, for I am clever. I have moved the boundaries of nations, plundered their treasure, and knocked down their kings like a bull. This boastfulness and self-reliance set the stage for Assyria's eventual downfall, as prophesied in later verses. Isaiah 10 vividly illustrates the complex ways in which God's sovereignty interacts with human history. It reminds me of Romans 9, 17 through 18, where Paul writes about God's sovereign choice in hardening Pharaoh's heart to show his power and to proclaim his name throughout the earth. So as we reflect on Isaiah 10, we are reminded of the ultimate sovereignty of God and the affairs of nations and individuals. It challenges us to recognize that God's ways and plans, they're higher than ours. And even though we may not always understand, we can trust that his purposes are ultimately directed towards his just and righteous ends. So as we study chapter 10, let us trust in his sovereign will and acknowledge his authority over all creation.